Welcome back to the news at noon. Right now we are joined by Dr. Dave McCrew from the Wildlife Center of Virginia and a pretty interesting topic we're talking about today. We're talking about, you know, when someone goes to the park, we've probably all done this. You go to the park and you feed ducks, maybe yes. breadcrumbs or something. But today we're talking about how that could actually create some problems. Yeah, absolutely. Especially this time of year when people like to be outside, they like to see the animals, and so they think the best thing to do to go, is to go down to the public park and maybe throw out some popcorn or some bread, um, something that might be beneficial uh, for, the, for the waterfowl that live there. But unfortunately, we ha happen to see a lot of negative consequences as a reaction or the result of people's um, behaviors. Um, this time of year, we tend to see six, 12, um, sometimes more ducks coming in from public parks from around the area. And it's all a direct result of what people are feeding the ducks. A lot of times the nutrition associated with pieces of bread or popcorn or Cheetos um, isn't adequate compared to the natural diet of these ducks. And so it's actually very deficient in protein and a lot of calcium and other minerals. And unfortunately what happens is their bones get very, very soft. And when that happens, their bones twist and they're, they're not able to fly. And unfortunately, uh, we tend to see them at the center in a very injured condition. And sometimes uh, there's nothing that we can do for them. My goodness, yeah. I, had, I had no clue. And I don't think a lot of people really do. So mm -hmm. my goodness, is there anything people can feed them if they really want to see ducks, uh, see ducks and they want to feed them? I mean, what can they uh, provide them? Sure. Um, some cities and towns in the area do put out feeders um, with commercial uh, waterfowl pellets in them. And if people want to feed anything at all, that's usually what we recommend. At least it's um, nutritionally balanced and so the waterfowl are actually getting an appropriate diet. The other problem is that when you do feed anything to ducks in parks, they tend to get really overcrowded. And when that happens, there's a lot of other repercussions that can occur. And so when you have a whole bunch of ducks in one area, um, there's a lot of feces, as you might imagine, and that encourages um, algae blooms, especially in this really hot summer. And algae is actually toxic to people um, and to a lot of pets uh, that may go in near the water. And unfortunately, it can also cause die-offs of fish in the region as well. So we don't like to uh, we don't like to recommend feeding whatsoever. But if you do, uh, some of the areas um, that do provide the commercial pellets are, are better than certainly the popcorn and the bread. I had no clue. Like I keep saying, so this could actually end up hurting not only the ducks but also I mean the environment around this area. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of times when you have these algal blooms, um, the people um, will definitely get affected because there's a smell associated with it as well. And other other kinds of waterfowl like uh, Canada de geese, for example, will use these parks as sort of their home base, and then they'll fly off to other areas like golf courses or other neighborhoods and cause further destruction with their foraging there. So it's sort of a little hot, bug, hot uh, bed of activity that we really want to try to, um, to uh, prevent people from, um, from, from doing this. Gotcha. We got about 10 seconds. Sure. And like you said, I mean, just kind of stay away from feeding. I mean, when we're talking about all these problems, correct? Yeah, try to do that. Um, the best thing to do is to watch the ducks and enjoy um, your time down at the park in the sun just with them uh, walk, walking around. Absolutely. Some good advice right there. But if you want any more information, you can check out the Wildlife Center of Virginia's website at wildlifecenter.org. Dr. Dave McCrew, thank you very much for coming in here today. No problem at all. Very interesting topic. We'll be right back after the break.